What's up guys? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And welcome in to this three bedroom, two full bath home here in the Princeton Heights neighborhood 63109. So we're gonna walk you guys through this amazing home here and I want you guys to take a look and tell me what you think. So the first thing you're gonna come into right away is your front living room space here. You've got just a basic little area here. You've got two stained glass windows up on the wall and a non-functioning fireplace, this brick front fireplace that's been painted white with a large mantle, plenty of space up here for your knickknacks, flowers, even a TV if you want. And then directly through the archway here is going to be your formal dining room space with, again, another stained glass window on that back wall behind us there. Now, I am going to point out one weird feature that we'll zoom up on really up close for you guys to see. There are holes in the floor right here that go all the way down to the basement. They're not big. They're, yeah, about yay big, but you'll see when, when you get the zoom in close on those. Kind of something little wishy-washy. Anyway, you come through here to your hallway area here. First door here is just like a small little pantry linen closet. And then you have another linen closet and your lower level door there. But this door here leads to your main floor bath. So come on around. So this is your main floor bathroom here. It is a full bath, um, but it is also your hall bath. So you are using this as a shower tub combination as well as a guest bath when they come over. Then directly out of this room, through the rest of the hallway is your kitchen area. Close that door. So you have a kitchen area here, stainless steel GE appliances for fridge, stovetop, and your microwave. Um, you do have the light brown cabinets, but we gotta do the test, I can tell you right now. There's no hardware on these, so I can't even get this drawer open. Like, it's so hard to get that drawer open because there's no hardware. But it is soft closed. So, bonus that it's soft closed, big negative that there's no hardware on that. It makes it very difficult to open the drawers. Now, you have back door access directly off of your kitchen area right here. And then we're gonna come around to the back end of the house where your stairs are gonna go up and your master bedroom is right here. So come on around. So small little hallway here. This is your master bedroom area. So you come in here and you've got a little space here for where your bed area would go. You have a small sliding closet right here, but the best space in this entire bedroom is this room back here. This is an additional sunroom off the very back end of the master bedroom. Um, lots of natural light, as you can see, plenty of windows. Um, if you wanna come and peek out, you can see the backyard from here, or you can just sit out and enjoy some of the nice weather without all the crazy outdoor out outdoorsness, I guess. You know, none of the bugs, nothing like that. But let's go ahead and head upstairs and check out the other two bedrooms. All right, so as we move up to the second floor landing, as you transition to the stairs, it goes into the carpet, and that carpet flows into the, the two secondary bedrooms up here. I'm just gonna peek in really quick. You do have a slanted roof up here. Whew, ran up those stairs. But uh, this is a one and a half story home, so the roof is gonna be slanted up here rather than just a flat roof. So you do have smaller closets because of that slant. And then the other secondary bedroom right here is the same way it's a nice it's a smaller room this closet is actually larger because it is before the slant really comes down now directly behind you we're going to walk into the final bathroom here so the bathroom in here when you come in is just a stand-up shower there is no tub in here and you would have to get some kind of either glass enclosure or something because while it does have the lip there, you're going to splash water everywhere because there's no rod, there's no shower curtain, no nothing. Then you have a linen closet here and of course your toilet and your sink. So let's go back downstairs and finish up talking about this home. Okay guys, so you see this home that we just finished walking through. It's a three bedroom, two bath home, 
right off of Holly Hills here in the 63109 Princeton Heights neighborhood. And as you can tell, this home is in a great location. It's located right near some of the major highways, some of the main streets here in the South City area. But there are five things that I love about this home and there are five things that I absolutely hate about this home. But for those videos, you're gonna have to make sure you check them out because they'll be posted pretty soon. But for now, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and go check out some of my other videos and leave your comments and feedback. So for now, I'll see you guys in a little bit.